Good morning, everybody. Um, we're getting ready to start our uh, July Breakfast Club, so we'll be on in just a minute. I see people are starting to join us. So welcome, and we'll get started here shortly. Good morning, Janet. That probably means Alice, too. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Cranstons. Hi, Marlene. Good morning, Donna. Hi, Tracy in Oregon. Hi, Glenda. Uh, so we're going to get started um, in just a couple of minutes. Good morning, Glenn. I'm sure your daughter's watching with you. So we'll get going here in just a minute or so. Good morning, Gracie. Hi, Sue. Margie. Hi, Cindy over at the coast. So we're almost ready to get started. I'm making a couple quick adjustments and then we're gonna get started. So one more minute. Good morning, Marsha. Hi, Jan. Hi, Lance and Lita. Um, we're gonna get started. I've just gotta connect our uh, PowerPoint really fast for our show and tell, and then we're gonna be ready to go. So about 30 more seconds. Good morning, everybody. It is time for our July Breakfast Club. I'm really excited about today's project. I'm excited that you are all here joining us. Once again, this is a whole new thing for us. Um, I know last month we had a little bit of craziness when we had an issue with our um, over security at the store, so we did it um, really quickly offsite. So we're back, we've got everything set up for you. We have so many great things to talk about today. So, um, <clears throat> Good morning, Katie. So it looks like we've got quite a few of you on here joining us. I know we're gonna get more. So we're just gonna probably pretty much get right into it. I thought I would start really quickly. I wanted to say happy anniversary. So uh, today is my parents' 40th anniversary. I'm not sure if they're watching, but happy anniversary, mom and dad. Um, and I hope you guys have a really, really great day. So going forward, we're going to talk today about a lot of stuff. We're going to talk about some summer class pass. We're going to talk about um, some amazing new things that are behind us. We will talk, uh, we're going to do our show and tell. So those of you that are joining us new, one of the things that we've learned, and I have decided it is my word of the year, which is adapt, is when this shelter in place took effect, although we are now open with limited hours, what happened is we had just done our breakfast club for March the week before and then this all happened and we didn't want to stop doing breakfast club and initially we thought this was going to be a three week thing so we thought we would just broadcast it live and we would go from there. As everybody knows this is a continuing um, change, it's changing daily for us so we're adapting daily. 
we don't intend to get rid of Breakfast Club Live. Um, depending on what the future holds for when we can have bigger gatherings, we will. Um, the plan is to have it in the shop again. However, we're still gonna find a way to broadcast it. Um, our reach has gone across the country with summer class pass our reach has gone into canada so i don't want to just because i can reopen and have a larger group in the store i don't want to take that away from everybody that has joined in everybody's enjoying it um, and i'll give you an example i know that my friend glenn up in washington um, is doing it now because she can and that she's also doing breakfast club with her daughter and i know it's something that they get to do together once a month so these are the things that make me happy that people are enjoying it. So we're gonna keep this going um, forward. With that being said, um, those of you that are new to Breakfast Club, um, you have an option. You can watch this live. You do not have to purchase the Breakfast Club project. Those of you that purchase the Breakfast Club project, we mail them out the Monday before Breakfast Club. Unfortunately, there is so much shipping and mailing going on in the world right now Things that normally take one or two days are taking several extra days. So I know if you didn't get your breakfast club in yesterday's mail, most likely it will be in today's mail. Um, I know Barbara up in Seattle, you said that you didn't get yours yet. I think it'll probably be there today. So we mail them on the Monday before. Part of the problem is we always get a last minute surge the weekend before the cutoff date. So we can't really ship the Friday before and things like that. So We've kind of planned it. Um, I don't want to ship in two mailings. That I'm we're touching things too often. So we ship the Monday before Breakfast Club. Normally it's going to get to you. But once again, with the mailing and shipping, that's just something that we don't have any control of. So um, good morning, Sharon. Um, Sharon uh, moved from Visalia to Apple Valley. So see, these are really nice um, instances where we get to continue to be a part of your life um, once a month with Breakfast Club and some of the other things that we have been doing. So um, we really, really do like it. With that being said, um, Breakfast Club, like I said, will continue to go on. So those of you that are new, we always do a show and tell. You can send in your pictures to photos at thimbletown.com and we do a show and tell. That was one of our favorite parts of Breakfast Club was for us to do our show and tells. With that being said, um, we are doing these on a PowerPoint um, presentation. <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna get a couple things ready here. So on our PowerPoints, we're doing a show and tell. You can send in your stuff. We actually give away a prize um, for show and tell. We have great, great projects that people are sharing with us. There's one in particular that I think she went uh, above and beyond of what she did with um, our Breakfast Club project two months ago. I have another show and tell in here where she took the project and turned it into something else. Um, I've seen people make them for different, uh, different things and I know we have other people making them as gifts um, for the end of the year. So I always love that our Breakfast Club projects are uh, being made, being used. If you purchase a Breakfast Club project, you do get the pattern. It is not a pattern that is available for sale. It only comes with the kit. When we put a kit together, which you guys will see here shortly, and when we mail this to you, it has everything in it. For example, if it needs batting in it, it's gonna have batting. So when we've done table runners in the past, we have put batting in there, or binding, or Peltex, or whatever the products are. I'm trying to think of what's in this project. For example, we have SF101 in this month's project. We don't reveal the project, it is a secret. When we did it in the shop, it was always a joke that if you opened your project before uh, we got there, I was gonna cut your hands off. It was always um, just a really fun uh, laughter. So when you get your projects, if you get that inkling to open it, which I hope you don't, just please don't share it. I don't wanna spoil the fun for anybody else. Something that I've realized as our reach has gotten further and further. I am constantly talking and I am referring um, to Marissa or Amy or Patsy. Um, I refer to Jeremy who people think I'm talking in third person and I'm not. I talk about Karen and Ann. So I talk about people um, as we go. So I thought I would introduce um, some of the behind the scenes. They are who make me able to do all of this. 
This is not um, something I can do without everybody helping me. I know we have constant changing help um, as far as friends, um, customers that will volunteer to come in and fold or do things. During this time, it has been um, imperative that everybody that has uh, pitched in to help and do things has really made a difference. So I'm going to show you a few pictures and I'm going to just do some introductions so you actually know there are faces behind the names that I talk about. So this is a group picture. This is uh, myself and then I'm standing next to Amy who is standing next to Irene and then Marissa is at the end. This is us all dressed up in our scarecrow uh, costumes. It was for a harvest hop. And so this is was, I thought, a really fun picture to show you guys of us in the store. When we've done shop hops, when we've done things, we always have a theme, we always dress up, and we always can try to make them as fun um, as possible. So here is Amy. This is a picture of Amy and I. Uh, we went to a thing, I want to say in December. So I will tell you the pictures that you're going to see were very difficult for me to get up because I can't ever get any of these guys to take pictures. So I really had to scour my um, phone and photos and Facebook to find pictures um, of everybody. So this is Amy. And then this is Marissa and I. This is when we were on the Alaskan cruise last year. Um, we did the uh, paper piecing cruise to Alaska last year. This was us out enjoying the cocktail of the day, which neither one of us liked. Those were Aperol spritzes, and they are not our favorites. So we were up enjoying uh, the nice view. This is when we were in Glacier Bay. You guys hear me talk about Patsy a lot, so I'm gonna actually, I've got two pictures. This is Patsy I, and I at Market um, in the Free Spirit booth with the quilt that we uh, did for Quilt Works that hung there. So that was really fun. So that's Patsy. This is another picture of Patsy and I. We love more than anything to teach, to hold retreats. Um, Patsy is a certified instructor with Quilt Works. I am the certified shop, so we teach and do a lot of things together. I really wanted to show some other pictures, but I know she would kill me if I showed them. Also, I some of them are just inside jokes that when we've been at retreats, we've talked about them and things like that. This is Irene, so I talk about Irene a lot. So there's two Irenes, and everybody always asks me who Irene is because I have my friend Irene that owns the restaurant and I travel with, and then I have family friend Irene that also helps out at the shop. I chose this picture of Irene because she is holding up an embroidery project that says Joy, and I chose that picture because she brings a lot of joy to the shop. She's always laughing, she's always upbeat. You guys are gonna see something later on today um, that is 100% her, and so uh, we will talk about it, but this is Irene, this is Joy, this is how she makes us feel when she's in the shop. I talk about Anne, so if you guys haven't ever met Anne, she is a teacher, she is a friend, um, she makes the best cookies, um, and she is just an amazing seamstress all together. Whether it's quilting, clothing, home deck, bags, it's just all there. I can call Anne and she can help get samples done. She has just been instrumental to us keeping samples going um, during this time and always uh, teaches during classes. And then you always hear me talk um, sometimes about Karen. This is us years and years ago because this is the only picture I could find. This was at an Angels game. I'm a Red Sox fan. I took her for her birthday. Um, I'm the Red Sox fan. She's the Angels fan. And yes, the Red Sox won that day. And then you also hear about Jeremy. There are two of us, and I am not talking in third person. So when I say Jeremy, it is not talking about myself. So that kind of wraps up the introduction of everybody. So I wanted to put a face with everybody's name so that you guys know. And once again, I thank them every single day. They are what make everything turn around here. Um, and once again, as we adapt and as we change. So I think that we should probably uh, just dive in to our slideshow. So I think what we're gonna do is, let me just pop that up here really quick. We're gonna do show and tell, and then we're gonna talk about all kinds of other stuff. We've got prizes to give away. So when we do uh, show and tell, 
uh, you we give away a $20 gift certificate so whoever wins the gift certificate today if you're local you can pick it up if you're not local um, Amy will email you over the um, number so you can use it when you make a purchase online also we give away for everybody uh, goes into a drawing that um, purchases our breakfast club kit they uh, receive so we will draw one we cut all the names up from the list and then we'll draw one and we'll give away the the next month's breakfast club so um, always lots of fun stuff so without uh, spending any more time let's go ahead and go into our show and tell okay first up is sweet Alice I really really miss seeing Alice in the shop so this was all her patriotic to do. What's really fun here is, so I'm not sure if that looks like it's a 15 minute table runner. I could be wrong, Alice, but she did our previous breakfast club um, wall hanging, which was the heart flag. And then over to the left, it looks to me like that was one of our previous projects, which was the pie holder, which she looks like she did in some patriotic fabric. And then Alice never disappoints. She always finishes a, a quilt um, before every breakfast club. So there is the quilt that she's been working on. Uh, looks like a form of a Bargello and I love all those bright colors. She also always has a new apron and a new pot holder every single breakfast club. So she has not disappointed us and is continuing to show it. And then it looks like she made, um, wow, Alice, you can actually sew clothes. Very good. Um, it looks like she made a very comfortable uh, dress probably to wear around the house. So nice, nice pictures, Alice. Thanks for sharing. All right, Barbara, our uh, enthusiastic cruise. I can't remember how she signed it. Barbara handles all of our travel arrangements for our cruises. So um, we have a quilt here. And then it looks like she made a couple of dresses. I forgot to rotate that picture. Sorry about that masks and she has personalized those masks with her embroidery machine oh there's the dress the right side up it's like she finished um i will think of the name of that quilt there i see jim's face popping up in the background um that is can't think of the name of it it is a judy quilt and there is her dinner plate dahlia so that was another project very beautiful job barbara um, and then a log cabin. Man, Barbara, you have been busy since our last show and tell. Nice job. Oh, and another Barbara Carpenter. Man, busy, busy. That one's on the design wall. So she's got to probably get that one toned together. I like all the straight lines in that project. All right, Cheryl. So that's last month's project. So I, the note that she attached to her pictures is she put her project right by her cutting table. So that's pretty cool. It's holding scissors, rotary cutter, um, a small ruler. So all the quick grabs that she needs right there. So that's a really good use of last month's project. This is what I said earlier about overdoing it. So there is, um, so second row, third over, that is our breakfast club project uh, from two months ago, which was the heart flag wall hanging. So she made one for every month to change out uh, on her hanger that was included in the breakfast club. So great job, uh, Cheryl, that's a really fun, I love the birthday one. Um, I love when you guys use these patterns and do more stuff with them. Clark has been busy. He uh, embroidered on a shirt for Christy, his wife, for her birthday. She didn't even know he had done it. And then he's been really busy. I got to get the information. He showed us one of these a couple breakfast clubs ago. Um, these are three-dimensional. Each piece is embroidered and freestanding. Um, so he showed us a St. Patrick's, and here is his 4th of July. He did let me know that it was done and hanging for 4th of July. Uh, and then Dawn got her breakfast club project uh, completed. And once again, she used the hanger, I think, from the previous month to hang it with. So that was a fun option that you had. And then she sent over us a nice picture of all the things she's working on. So the bottom two, that is our Hoop and the Embroidery Club. So she got her project done there. And then uh, she made a quilt. And the way that I understand it is her cat 
um, talks um, is the one that loves this quote the most. So it was going for someone else, but now it is for the cat. All right, Donnell, so this is um, Donnell and Glenn, they're up in Washington. Um, I wanna say when she sent me this picture, it was her first quilt that she had completed. It is a great job, I really love it. I love that city fabric, it never gets old. And she also finished her uh, Breakfast Club from last month. What I like about this is she embroidered her name on it. And then I noticed that on the pockets, she put decorative stitches across the top. Uh, maybe with uh, a little faux binding on there. So that's a really nice touch. Um, really great when we see you guys take the embroidery projects to the next level. Emma's been busy making key fobs. Um, she made a shirt for her friend Glenda and then Halloween pot holders. If I remember correctly, Emma loves anything Halloween. And then some more little zipper key fob holders. So I think those are really cute just to hold uh, just a couple little odds and ends that you just need handy without taking your whole purse or wallet with you. And then this is a um, tote bag. Um, and then the inside and she loves her Disney fabric. Okay, Glenda, these are, and I cannot remember, guys, I do this off of the memory of reading um, all of the notes. But these are dog robes, and I'm sure Glenda can just leave us a little note in the comments. Um, they, I know she does a lot of work for a dog shelter that deals with older dogs, um, and it's some kind of robe, I can't remember what she called it, sorry about that. And then she made a whole bunch of fleece dog blankets. Once again, these all go to older dogs um, that are in shelters. Grace finished up her uh, Brilliant Blooms uh, table runner. So this was a pickle pie um, embroidery event that we did either in April or May. I can't even remember now when we did it. Um, we always have a running joke inside the store uh, that Grace grace sizes things. And in this instance, she grace sized it. So she took all of the blocks and put them in an entirely different order. Um, and made her own version of the project that we did that day. Uh, this one I forgot to rotate to. So there is uh, Joanna Walker. That is her, uh, the top is last month's Breakfast Club. The bottom one is a Breakfast Club from a few months ago that was uh, a tea towel project that we did. She also finished uh, Breakfast Club, the heart, wall, uh, the heart flag wall hanging. And she has finished her Wish You a Merry Christmas, and I'm very proud of her. She quilted the whole thing by herself. She said she was gonna do it, and it took her some time, but she got it all done, and it looks fantastic, Joanna. Kim has been busy, so I see masks in there. But if you'll notice the fabric over there, that's a cell phone holder. So she took the fabric and the um, Caltex and all of the stuff from last month and she turned it into added a grommet and turned it into a cell phone holder and I think that's what it said in the notes and then she's been busy making masks that fabric uh, was gone the second that we put it on breakfast club a couple months ago so that was um, some Snoopy patriotic fabric and like I said it was gone one of the things about breakfast club is you guys get to see uh, the fabric before anybody else so we release most of the fabric in Breakfast Club before we put it on the website or make it out for the public. Christy has been busy uh, working on um, embroidery projects. Let's get ready to bumble with the bee. I think that's an adorable project. Last month's Breakfast Club. Another embroidery project from Kimberbell. She made one of the Kimberbell bears. And then these are the projects from our last uh, Camber Bell event, which was Vintage Flora. So we did that live online a couple weekends ago. Our next one coming up is going to be the Sugar Plum Jubilee. Um, so we're gonna put that on the website and we will talk about that a little bit. And then here is some more uh, Camber Bell embroidery projects that she's been working on. 
And then here is an Easter quilt that she did. So it looks like all those white spaces, she used her embroidery machine and embroidered and then pieced in patchwork and all of that good stuff. Our Hoop Envy project for our Hoop Envy Embroidery Club, she got finished up. And she also finished up her table runner and placemats from our Pickle Pie Brilliant Blooms uh, online events. So she's been extremely busy. Linda was um, finished up. This is from the Quick Curve books. We'll be doing a project on this towards the end of the year. She just got it back from the quilter, she said, and then uh, she needs to get the binding on it. But that's a really fun Christmas tree wall hanging. I love all of the batiks that she used in there just to give it all of that uh, dimension. Marlene has been busy making masks, and what she said is that she's made a smaller custom sized masks for her daughter and I believe her daughter's friends. And we're gonna talk about masks and how they are our new way of life and about making them in different sizes uh, when we finish the slideshow. Mary McCormick finished um, this Judy quilt off the top of my head. I cannot think of the name. I'm sure if Patsy's watching, she'll text the name in there. It is total blank. And then Sharon over in Barso, she finished up her uh, Kimberbell projects from our online event a couple of weekends ago. And then Sharon, this, I can't even think of when this breakfast club was. I think it was at the beginning of the year. It was a trio of zipper pouches, Christy's favorite. Um, anything with zippers, she can't wait to get made. But this one went to her grandson. And then here were the other two um, in the project. And then she also did uh, this zipper tote. I believe she did this one in her embroidery machine. So she did a great job. And then uh, my mom, Sherry, here are her projects. You are the zest. So this was from uh, one of the Kimberbell projects. There is her slice of summer uh, bench pillow. Um, she is, and I know other people are using their bench pillows as wall hangings instead of uh, stuffing them. Uh, maybe you don't have the space, so um, this is in the entryway, and then she's got all of her uh, slice of summer, um, other embroidery projects that she's done uh, to match it to decorate. And then this, I think, was the citrus and sunshine. Um, so those were two small projects with um, raw edge applique that she finished up. Sue has been busy finishing up um, the embroidery and all of the sewing for her Brilliant Blooms. I know she said she was just down to binding to get everything else finished. And then Sue has been busy, uh, Sue Gaffney, previous owner Sue Acob, uh, she's been working on a couple of small projects. She said she just has to sit down and get these quilted. And then she embroidered a Here Comes the Sun and then another uh, small uh, wall hanger or table topper that she uh, finished up that she needs to get quilted. And then Tracy up in Oregon. So she finished last month's um, Breakfast Club project. Um, and this is hanging in her um, travel trailer. So it's holding, and I don't know that the picture shows very well, but I'm assuming this is by the door, but it's a, she's got everybody's cell phone. That's where they're putting them. So that's a great, another option is your cell phone holder. And then she made another one um, that uh, looks like maybe towards the bedroom that, you know, is just a little holder uh, right by the bed. So that was a great use of that project also. So that's going to wrap up our slideshow on our breakfast club. Everybody, you guys did um, a great job on it. We love to see it. It has always been one of our favorite parts of breakfast club. With that being said, it always encouraged people to get projects done. And that was one of my favorite parts was people would grab out some UFOs and get them done because they wanted to have something to show and tell. So we really, really hope that you guys um, will send in pictures so that our, slow, our show and tells keep growing and things like that. So I was just gonna look on here. Hi, Carol up in Fresno. <clears throat> oh, I see Patsy joined us. Hi, Christy. Hi, Karen and Glendora. So it's very nice um, to uh, do the show and tell. So please make sure you guys send in those pictures. We do send out an email uh, the week of uh, prior to our next breakfast club, but you guys can send them in all month. That email address is photos at thimbletown.com. Just send in your pictures, make sure your name is on it. 
um, and maybe get, just tell us what it is. And then that way, when we put our slideshow together, we can talk about it. So I'm looking at all this amazing stuff behind us, but I thought maybe what I'll do really quick is let's talk about summer class pass. We've done summer class pass in the shop um, for several years now. It has always been a huge hit. We can't do it. Um, we can't have the classes. And so we have been asked about doing summer class pass. How were we gonna do it? Where we're we gonna skip it. So we decided to do it virtual. It has blown us away. Everybody that I showed you our pictures of earlier when I was talking about Amy, Marissa, Irene, everybody has been busting to get everything out to you guys so here is the quick recap of summer class pass under the classes tab on our website you can find summer class pass you purchase summer class pass it's 89 dollars, and you are going to have access to 24 classes so those classes start on july 15th so next wednesday they are filmed classes they are not live you will have access to them until October 1st. So if you're working, if you um, just can't do it when the class is, don't worry about it. You're gonna get an email every morning on the day that the classes come out. You'll be able to click that and you'll be able to watch that video. You do not have to use Facebook to watch those videos. We are gonna host them separately and you guys will be able to get those um, videos. When you then go on the website, which I am going to get it up on my computer here in a minute, and I just want to show you um, a couple things on the website. So when you go to uh, the website, I told you you can sign up for Breakfast Club um, online. And so that's under our classes tab. But when you go to the online shop, you guys are gonna come down here, and if you scroll down, if you scroll down, you're gonna see Summer Class Pass. When you click on Summer Class Pass, it's gonna open up 24 boxes for you. These are the names of every single class that we are offering. So we are going to um, just grab over here the project bags, for example. So the project bags, there is the pattern for purchase. It has four different sizes on it. Um, there is a kit to make it, and then there is also the necessary soft and stable. So we've made it really easy for you guys to be able uh, to get to all of the classes. Um, whether you're going to, um, whether you're interested in a class or not, so you might not want to make the miter baby blanket. You will still have access to the free pattern, and then you'll have access to the video um, if you want to make it later. So with that, summer class pass starts next week. However, if you sign up after it starts, you will still get access to the previous videos that you may have missed. We know that people have been traveling um, or just have been busy with home improvement projects or quilting and maybe they forgot to sign up so you still have that opportunity. So uh, as I show you some of the projects, I will also let you know if they are a summer class pass so that you kind of know. Once again, this is a great way. The classes come out to about three bucks a piece, so you can't beat that for actual regular classes. One of the things, I'm just gonna grab this here. One of the things that we weren't able to show at our last breakfast club was the Better Not Pout. So those kits, we are in the process of cutting those kits. So those of you that ordered those kits, they'll be coming out to you soon with your book. But one of the things that Nancy Halverson does every year is tea towels. And unfortunately at the time, we only had the graphic of the tea towels because um, they didn't have any other uh, physical inventory of it. So we received the tea towels and everybody, I have heard a couple people say they wanted to see them better. When you buy the tea towel pack, so you're getting eight tea towels in it and you're getting eight different tea towels. So with that being said, I want to just kind of show you, um, you're going to get uh, the two teal versions. So they are the big buffalo plaid and then this with the twigs and the uh, uh, berries on it. And then a really fun green, oh it is green and red um, plaid on a cream background. The holly. Um, and then also a green buffalo plaid 
Here is the holly and cream. And then here is the red twigs and the red buffalo check. So when you get the package of these, which is on the website, you guys are going to get all of these tea towels. They are fantastic. They usually don't offer these once they sell at their inventory. They are a holiday item. We have plenty of them for you, but get them because now that people can see what they actually look like, I don't expect them to be on the website another day or two and then we'll be totally sold out. So let's talk about um, all of the great stuff that's here behind us. So we're gonna start and we're just gonna work our way around. And we'll start, let's start right here. So this is the newest design. Um, so this is Bruce Allen designs for fabric confetti. Most of you know that uh, Vanessa fabric confetti, we are very good friends. We chat on a regular basis. We constantly bounce ideas off of us. Um, her good friend does a lot of embroidery with her and he has started to do some designing. So his first project is ugly Christmas sweater. We will not be kidding it um, in this. This is um, his. He sent it over to us to show you, but there are 12 different sweaters. They're hilarious. I think you can make this as funny as you want because I think when you really look at ugly Christmas sweater pictures from parties and things like that, there's always everything. So yes, there are some things like a Santa face and ornaments and joy, but you guys can make these as funny holiday festive as truly ugly Christmas sweater as you want. There's just a lot of fun. So that CD is now um, available for you um, and that's on the website. So our wine totes, I mean we call it grape juice. So our grape juice totes um, are on our summer class pass. So it comes a couple of ways. So it has the package of pre-printed batting. So there are three different wine totes in here. These are quilt as you go. When you're done, you slap the binding on it and they're done, so you have three. These are fantastic um, hostess gifts when you're heading out to holiday parties or just any themed fabric that you wanna make. So um, this is a class that is on our summer class pass. Once again, you get three. And when you get the kit, there is enough fabric in here to make three, which is in that package interfacing. So as you can see, there are three different uh, type of designs that are on, um, that are in that uh, project. This is our actual first class for Summer Class Pass next Wednesday. Once again, um, all of our stuff has been shipped out or is being shipped out as we speak. So if you get a delay on a product or an item. Don't worry about it. That class remains available. We have sent everybody that is participating a special email address that you can ask questions and we will help you along the way. We will be interacting with you through the entire summer class pass. So we want to make sure that if you have a question of how to do something, you have that answer. But the best part of what I have heard from our Brilliant Blooms events, our Kimberbell events, is that people, when they are sitting down and they're actually sewing or they're actually embroidering, they like that they can refer back to the video, fast forward to where they need to get and get the tips or tricks to get your projects done. What I love about this project is, it is finished when you're done. These flip around, you do some top stitching, no binding, so of course we always love that. You all know how much I love binding. Um, this is another project that we're uh, doing. This is a quilt as you go placemat, so you do put a binding on it. It has some uh, stitched in dimensional par uh, prairie points on it. This is Friday Fiesta. So Christmas fabric has been coming in and gnomes have been so popular. These are actually digitally printed. So. Um, I'm gonna leave this one here, but I think this stocking is hilarious. I think um, I would like somebody to make this stocking and then fill it full of good stuff. So I just think this is a great stocking. I think it's fun for a grandkid, especially if you wanna just put fun goodies in there and just kind of be silly. So that is a great um, uh, panel. So it's two-sided. So you'll just sew these guys together. You can throw a lining in there if you want. And it already has the pre-printed um, tab for you when you make it. 
if you want to line it, there are three fabrics that went with this. So I'm hoping you guys can see this, but these are little Santa gnomes, which I think are hilarious. They're ice skating, they're standing around, there's all kinds of forest animals. So really, really fun, digitally printed. This is a company, Lewis and Irene. This doesn't necessarily have to read holiday, but I do love all of the, the dark navy, the shooting stars that went with this. And then here is that same gnome. No, it is different because this one has a Santa sleigh on it, or the gnome sleigh, I should say full of presents and all kinds of good stuff. So these are great linings uh, to do for this panel. Um, I will just tell you now, if you wanna get this, I would get it um, probably three, four, so a yard for your lining, and then you would probably have a little bit extra if you wanted to do something fun with that. So as we move on, I wanna show you the Better Not Pout fabric. We are finishing up the quilt kit and then we will make all that fabric available online so that is nancy halverson's new line and i'm just going to grab this to give you an idea uh, the layer cakes are the charm the 10 inch packs are here so this is the better not pout fabric line it has all kinds of fantastic um, projects in here I think one of the fabric confetti uh, table runners for the holidays would be really cute out of this fabric. You can just make a quick uh, square quilt out of it. There's all kinds of things. But this again is gonna show you just how great all of the fabric lines are. And then you can kind of get a feel for the theme from the tea towels that I had shown you guys. Here is a really fun stocking panel um, from that line. There are four on here, four different ones, and then, so there's the snowman, the reindeer, the bird, and then of course she always has a Santa Claus. So this is a really fun stocking panel. All of the instructions are printed on there of exactly what you need. Um, and we will, have, these are available on the website now. And once again, after we finish the last of the kit cutting, we'll put the rest of this fabric line which we have every skew, I think there's 42 of them. So I have every bolt of that line, and so it'll be available uh, on the website soon, but make sure you grab your um, Christmas panel. I'm gonna leave this fabric here, but I'm gonna come up and show you. So we did um, a while ago a, a fabric line from Lewis and Irene. They tend to do and work on smaller scale items so we had one that had farm animals there were cows and sheep and horses pigs maybe goats and it was a really really fun popular line we might have a couple of partial bolts but people loved what the scale of it was and what the fun of it was so this one is all little animals uh, the girls put back quarter bundles together because everybody always told us we really like it we're not sure what we want to do with it but we want to get it before it's gone. So I'm going to switch over and I'm going to see if I can kind of show you from this back quarter bundle just how cute these are. So here are some the rabbits and they were actually in three different colors. And then we have tropical birds and the tropical birds were also in three colors. And then there were two colors of cats. And there are three colors of the turtles. And then there are three colors of the dogs. So the yardage is on the website along with back quarter bundles. These are just fun things. These would make great masks. Um, kids love animals, people love animals. So this would make really great masks because of the scale of it. So grab a back quarter bundle, grab yardage, we have it all, um, and we'll uh, show you from there. I won't bore you guys with superstars, but this pattern for us just is gets more and more popular. It is one of the most purchased patterns for our upcoming uh, summer class path. So we have some new samples that we'll be making in the video but you do make a table topper 
and you get uh, four play, uh, coasters out of your fabric requirements. And if I remember correctly, it's all out of fat quarters um, and then fat quarters for the back. So we have kits and we have those kits in different themes. We have some spring themes, we have uh, floral, there's Halloween, there's Christmas, there's coffee, uh, there's kitchen, there's gardening. So a lot of really fun um, items. And it looks like they came up, so we sold out of all of this patriotic, but the girls put together another patriotic uh, superstars. So those are all, uh, once again, there on the website. That quarter baby book. This is um, been a never ending popular book. It has 20 projects in it. We've done the whales, the butterflies, the bow ties or hair bows. We've now done the duck. Uh, this is gonna be a class on summer class pass. The reason that I chose this was to talk about chain piecing and just talk about working with all of little pieces, how to label, how to keep yourself organized. So when we choose our classes for summer class pass, we want them to be fun, we want them to be informative, we want them to show you um, some different techniques that maybe you haven't tried, you want to try. So that's kind of how we do it. We thought this would be a good quilting class just to talk about working with pieces, working with chain piecing, proper pressing, and things like that. When we do Fresh as a Daisy, so Fresh as a Daisy, you can get a pattern, you can make it out of one color. Uh, the whole thing can be one color uh, flower, however you want. We use the uh, Garden, Dot pin, uh, Garden Dot Jelly Roll from Michael Miller. Um, we use everything but a few of the colors like the white and the black. Um, it has an accent fabric and a background. This block actually has quite a bit on it and there's some really uh, cool ways in which you square it up. So during that class, we'll be making a block. You can make three blocks and turn it into a table runner. I have seen people turn them into um, decorative pillows. So there's a lot of great things that you guys can do with um, that one too. So this and that. Uh, this is from Cotton Street Commons. You, our kit gives you two, um, it gives you two placemat, excuse me, two zipper pouches. This is an iron on almost like a velvet. And the way that it's cut, you get a positive and a negative. So you will have both options there. So when you get the kit, you're actually getting to make two totes. Um, if you wanna pick your own fabric, and you just purchase the pattern, inside you are going to have um, the stuff still to make too. So you get the positive and the negative. All right, the Madeline pouch, this has been really popular. I'm not sure, oh, we still do have kits of that. We are, um, this is fun because it's got two zippers. Christy, I know those are your favorite. It has vinyl in the front. So you can put things in here like, um, your lipstick, you can put sunglasses, um, anything like that. So you can, the things you wanna see really handy in there, and then you also have another zipper pouch also. Okay, so we do have kits uh, for the Duck Baby, which is on there. I'm gonna show you guys this in a minute, because this is super fun, and I know you guys are gonna love it. So better not pout. Once again, I told you that we have the charm or the tinted squares on the website now. And then we were talking about masks. We're talking about uh, the smaller scale prints. So Creative Grids, we bought these, and these um, we have just placed another order for these. This is a template to make the face masks. But what we love about it is number one, it has all the instructions, and there's a video that you can go and watch but it has it for three sizes. So what Irene did is she brought me in a face just to show you it on a face. So it's just nice and form. But what we do like about it also is in the three sizes. So there is a small, a medium, and a large. So we have a large, and then a medium, and then you have a small. So um, you can fit these for kids, you can fit them for adults, um, teenagers, anything like that. One of the things that Irene has done is she has really made these um, 
reversible. So if you really think about them, when you make them, you could do two different fabrics that are going to have maybe different themes. So if you want to coordinate your mask to your outfit of the day, um, you don't have to make a mask every time. Just use this template and make your masks reversible. It will be a really great way to do it. One of the things that I have said, and as Patsy has always said, is we love Christmas fabric that is Christmas. So Lewis and Irene has a new Christmas line that we got, and to me, it's just that happy vintage Santa face. So there is a red background, there is a light gray background, and a green background. You, uh, this is on the website as yardage, just happy Santas great for table runners, placemats, or things like that. I'm actually working on one of our summer class pass videos that is gonna use um, this fabric in it. So there are Christmas trees that go with it, and the Christmas trees have the forest of trees, but they do have Santa. Um, he's cut down his tree, and it's on the sled, and he's pulling it to where it needs to go. There are great coordinates for it. Here is a new set of batiks. These are on the website uh, from uh, Timeless Treasure. So these are all on the website as brand new. We have uh, kits for early risers. This is on Summer Class Pass. We have um, the two new Atkinson designs. What I wanted to show you here, however, is here is the Tim Holtz um, collection that just came back in. This is Provisions. This, if I remember correctly, is all of the colors of the provisions. So what I really like, and let me just grab a fabric here. So it, to me, looks like an aged canvas or leather. Um, it looks like it has some paint spatter or oil marks on it. So it's just a really great texture. What I love about his stuff is his colors go from line to line to line. So there is yardage on there, but there is also, if you're not sure of which one and you just want them all, we did put some back quarter bundles together and you can grab those on the website. But here are some of his new prints and I'm just gonna open a couple of them up and then um, you can find them. Uh, Marissa's got them all up on the website. Um, I always love all of his vintage looking stuff. Here's one that I think is gonna get turned into a lot of bags. This has like vintage patterns on it. So I think this is really cool. It's got all the vintage patterns on it. Um, all this stuff has the calendars from 1912. So lots of great things like that. So once again, you guys can find all of these on uh, the website. I think I'm gonna need some of that one. And then I think this is great, nice world map. It's got all your travel stamps and all of that kind of stuff departure, train time. So always fun, very, very Tim Holtz. And then you guys have that. So I'm gonna come back over here. Um, the kit, I gotta show you. So this fabric came in, immediately made a phone call. And I now have two samples. Uh, thank you to Ann and thank you to Marty who were over at the Coast Sewing. So this is the Poppins bag. You can find this on the website. It is a pattern that includes the metal stays for inside. Um, it has, you guys gotta see this. So it opens up, it stays open, and then look at that great stripe inside. So the stripe is on both of the kits. So you have a kit that will have the fabric, whether it's in the teal or the black with the stripe that goes with it. The pattern is the pattern and the stays. And then there is a double-sided, uh, Bozel on there. It is a double-sided fusible and has tried it in other ways It needs to be the double-sided fusible or it doesn't work. So those are all on there There is the black version this fabric by itself is amazing, but when I saw these bags, I just couldn't believe it um, We were joking around about having a travel bag I think you could put all of your clothes in here and all of your bathroom stuff in here because they just open up and they're so big. So both of these are on there. There is also an option on there to purchase extra stays. So the stays um, that will keep this open when you do it are in there. So if you decide you wanna make more than one bag, you can. 
So I'm looking at the time and I'm running just a hair long, but I got a couple more things to show you and then we're gonna show the project and then we'll wrap um, everything up. So we have all talked and seen the dream panels and there's so many things you can do with them. We've cut them up in some cool patterns. We did the Nova Star by Cindy McCracken. Um, people have just quilted them. We were starting an embroidery class before all this happened about quilting them all done. So here is a version of one um, and I wanted to show you, we are working on writing up the instructions and then doing a tutorial video um, on this project. So this is one of the Dream Big panels and this is just chenille. So is that showing, I'm hoping in the camera well. So this is four panels, there's no batting in here. It's a backing and four panels, you layer them on. Once again, we're gonna write up the instructions and then put a tutorial of how to do this and then it is just stitched and then chenilled. So the reason I showed you this, I'm not sure that I have dream panels on the website right now, but we do have them and uh, Amy and Marissa will get them on next week. But what is on the website is, let me just see, did you guys see how fun all that texture is? So from that chenille. So another really great way, some people, when they get panels, they're not sure what they want to do with them, how they want to quilt them, how they want to display them. So with that being said, let me show you uh, the four, uh, excuse me, the three new panels that you guys are going to love. There's two Halloween and then there is a Christmas. So if you want a panel, they're on the website. If you want to chenille it and make just an amazing wall hanging, You'll need four panels. And once again, in about two weeks, we'll have a video tutorial up for you. So here is the first panel, and this is the holiday one. So this is Santa in his, uh, Santa in his sleigh delivering all of the Christmas presents, digitally printed. That's how we get all those amazing, amazing colors. Um, I can't wait to chenille this up and see it done. I just think it's gonna bring so much life to this. So the reason we were talking about the chenilling is because sometimes when we look at these, we just don't know how we wanna quilt them. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the next two. So these are Halloween and they are two different. There's one that's really fun and then there's one with the witch. So here is Halloween number one. Once again, these are on the website. So there's the scarecrow with the crows and the pumpkins, the picket fences, all kinds of fun. And then look at this one. So that is the witch, the haunted house, the bats, the black cat, all of the great stuff. Very, very, very amazing uh, panels. Once again, find those um, on the website. Marissa has put them all in the Breakfast Club tab, so they're really easy for you to find. So most of what we showed you is today in the Breakfast Club tab, and it is also then in um, Summer Class Pass. I wanna give a really quick update because now is gonna be the time that you guys are gonna want to get these done. First of all, if you pre-ordered Love Notes, please don't go on and purchase it. We already have yours pulled to the site and we'll be contacting you. So if you did the $20 pre-order, you don't need to buy the Love Notes Mystery Quilt from Kimberbell. However, you will need to get online and purchase your embellishment kit. Now we did hold you and everybody that pre-ordered, we also pre-ordered you an embellishment kit. So. If you haven't done the Kimberbell Mystery, so this starts August 3rd, we'll be shipping out embellishment kits and fabric um, to you guys next week. And then starting August 3rd, each week for five weeks, you're gonna get a clue to sew part of the uh, project. So what I wanted to tell you is these are ready to go. There is a sewing version and an embroidery version. So if you don't have an embroidery machine, but you wanna do the Kimberbell, you still get to do that. So when you're on there, double check that you're buying the sewing version or the embroidery version. There is no more pre-orders on there. What is in the inventory is what we have left after our pre-orders. 
um, and then you'll need to get an embellishment kit if you want to do it. Then starting August 3rd, you're going to get an envelope each week that is going to have all of the patterns and things like that on it. So I'm going to put all this to the side and then we're going to get started on and we're going to show our amazing project. So let me just move a couple of things. All right, so the exciting part to me always has been opening up the projects because I never would let anybody open up their projects even when we were here until I had gone through the whole thing while we did this really fun, great reveal and things like that. So let me get this going um, and let me grab one more thing. All right, I had to grab the project really quick because I had left it on the other side of the room. All right, so when you open your Breakfast Club project, the first thing I wanna talk about is you are going to pull out a key ring. And when I talked to you earlier and I showed the pictures of everybody, I talked about Irene, I picked the picture that she had done Joy. Irene made one of these for every participant in Breakfast Club. They're all different colors. They say, may your bobbin always be full. So they are on there. She made me one in my favorite color, which is yellow. So mine's all black and yellow. This is made out of vinyl. It's got a snap on it. It's got the key ring on it. So these are a gift to you from Irene. And we really, really appreciate that she did that. So those are in there for you. Now, let's talk about what else is in here. Obviously, you guys are going to find a pattern which I don't see in mine. So I'm sure it's just buried in there. All right, so here's fabric number one. When I say fabric number one, this has a lot of fabric. One of the things that I said is this project is something that we all need at this time in our life. All right, fabric number two. Fabric number three. Are you excited yet? All right, let's see what this is. Oh, batting. SF-101, as a reminder, SF-101 is very much like muslin. It is fusible on one side, so the bumpy side is what you fuse to. So SF-101, it's what we do to make uh, things, um, have extra body. We use it a lot in embroidery to help get rid of puckers. Another piece of fabric. Love this piece of fabric. This is my favorite one in here. Um, so that plaid was actually printed on the fabric on the bias. And the last thing in here is Velcro. So does anybody have any idea of what we're making? Okay, so this month's Breakfast Club project is a shopping cart cover, so a handle cover with a pocket attached for you to put in your cell phone, your keys, your shopping list, pin, anything like that. So it will Velcro right onto the shopping handle. So I know here um, we can't go into a store currently without them making us take carts from a certain place that have been wiped down. However, I still want to protect it, so I take my own wipes in anyways. Now I can put on my own protector for my shopping cart. All right, so let's talk about the instructions really quickly. So if you guys haven't already opened those up, as a reminder, we give you supplies for the list and we do these yardage amounts based on how you can go into a quilt store and purchase them. And then we give you the cutting. We have done, um, your fabric in here will let you cut out the size that we've told you to do cutting. So on here, Marissa does a really good job with all of the graphics. So there is a picture of it at the top there and there's a figure one, two, three, and four. So what you are gonna do is you are gonna press the SF-101 onto the back 
of the pocket backing pieces. And once again, the pocket backing, backing pieces are labeled up there. When you cut these, I would recommend putting a label with it. You're gonna put the uh, fabrics together uh, right sides and you're gonna sew them along the uh, long side with the quarter inch seam. So that's figure one. Then what you are going to do is you're gonna pull that pocket lining around and it's gonna flip back and it's gonna give you the faux binding. And then you'll notice here, it is also the lining of this front pocket. So these two fabrics are gonna be right sides together. Then you're gonna sew them. When you flip them around, you get a faux binding. You're gonna put that pocket, and I am gonna put those instructions there. So you're gonna take and then you're gonna put that pocket onto another piece here. There is no rhyme or reason for us in the pattern to tell you where to make your pocket. You can do one in the center, you can measure your cell phone, you can measure your list, whatever you wanna do, you make your own pockets there, okay? So then you're gonna sew those on, you'll put this pocket backing on, you're gonna sew around and turn it, and then you'll have a raw edge at the top. I am just showing you the construction. You guys will go right through here on the instructions. You're gonna have two pieces here. So you have the fr uh, front and the back with the batting. You are going to layer them as instructed and you're going to um, top stitch, or you're gonna um, sew around it, turn it, but you're leaving an opening down here at the bottom, large enough to insert this pocket. So when you turn it, normally we leave a three or four inch opening, um, in the instructions, it tells you what size opening to leave to insert the raw edges of the pocket. Someone called me yesterday working on last month's project and they were asking about the raw edges. You're going to then uh, turn everything under and then you're gonna top stitch all the way around. Your pocket will be top stitched in place. Then you're gonna sew on your Velcro. Then you're gonna go to the grocery store and you'll be able to push your cart around you have, uh, you're completely protected and then you can put your little goodies there instead of putting them in the cart. So I think in our time, it's something that we all need and that we all use, um, that if you're not, if we all have to go to the store. We can't have everything delivered. So um, I think it's a really great project. Our next breakfast club, I just was told I forgot to give you guys winners. So let's see. So. The winner for show and tell, so $20 gift certificate is Tracy Ross. Tracy's in Oregon, so Tracy, Amy's gonna do a gift certificate and she'll email it to you so that you can apply that um, in our online store um, on your next purchase. So uh, congratulations, Tracy, you won the $20 gift certificate for um, the show and tell. Also, uh, Cheryl Spikey over in Arizona, she won our next breakfast club. Cheryl, you don't have to do anything. Amy will automatically put you in for the next breakfast club. If you got so excited and already went to the website and purchased breakfast club for this month, we'll add you into the, or for August, we'll add you into September. So congratulations to our two winners. Our next Breakfast Club is going to be on August 15th. Once again, it'll be live right here on Facebook. We will hold it at 9 a.m. and that is Pacific time. In the meantime, take advantage of all the great new holiday stuff that's on the website. Take advantage of our summer class pass. We appreciate all of your support. We appreciate you helping us grow our Breakfast Club. It's something that we have done for over three years. We love, love, love our Breakfast Club. Um, and I am loving the fact that it is able to, people are able to participate from all over. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. It's gonna be 109 in Bakersfield. Um, so if you are in Bakersfield, stay cool, enjoy your weekend, and we will see you guys uh, at Breakfast Club or online soon. Have a great day, everybody.